Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're going to continue our Rise of the Robots campaign. Time for a landed UFO operation, which Slayer, which is probably going to be hopefully the last mission before we can uh, go and kill the Warlock and then finish the campaign, is um, up. And today it's time for Clown Fiesta, aka Five Sparks, uh, just because I didn't have a sixth one. And we're going to see how well that turns out. This is definitely going to be robotic mania. Removing everybody else uh, from here. Uh, we got spark, 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 and spark. And just to round it up, we want to give Storm here a chance to uh, redeem herself and uh, get the corporal uh, rank as well so we got our trusted uh, sparks vector dagger uh, and glaive we got quartzius who uh, just got his nickname and i'm not okay with Myr myrmidon uh, that is not a med medieval weapon so we got dagger glaive uh, how about He's becoming the Spear. So, character info, nickname Spear. I like it. Good. As I was saying, we got some decent weapons available here. Heavy weapons. We're definitely going with a big fat blaster launcher. And yet another blaster launcher. We're going with a heavy Shredstorm cannon, another Shredder cannon, and uh, how about, oh yeah, we're going to go with, uh, with some Hellfire projectors. We got enough explosives to level the entire floor already. Might as well use some flamethrowers because we haven't really used uh, the bigger flamethrowers a lot. So that's going to be our team. I'm looking forward to it and let's jump right into the mix. But thinking about like why didn't I ever uh, got the idea of running six sparks beforehand. Uh, this is just awesome. That's really Rise of the Roberts at its finest. Okay, time for a clown fiesta. We started with uh, this um, landed UFO. Just to remind ourselves, landed UFOs kind of work uh, pretty straightforward. As long as you do not trigger anyone, the timer does start. Once you trigger uh, the first pack, you're essentially on a timer. Which makes it even more important that we're just gonna heal in advance. Sparks can heal one another. So even the ones that are not uh, high level yet can benefit from the healing of the others. We are definitely, definitely are going to have a shooting line up here. And once we're at it, how about Storm moves up as well? Perfect. This is going to be either the worst mission ever or it's going to be hilarious and a lot of fun. I hope the latter. Moving up. Glaive moves up. Dagger moves up, Quintius, who hasn't earned his name yet, moves up, Spear moves up in a nice Trojan formation. And that's the fire line that I was talking about. Someone is now going to run into us, that's, that's going to hurt a lot. Okay, we know the first pack is down here. Just double checking real quick to see if and where the enemies are. Just 
checking each of the fields if it is engageable. Hmm. Can't really find them. A bit odd, but okay. All right, moving up. The movements are predictable. Fair enough. I think that at least answers the question where they are. And we're moving all the way over to here. If they really move into us, that's going to be very, very, very painful for them. If not, it's also going to be very painful for them because we're going to engage very soon. One of the cool things that you can do with Sparks is we can like shortcut this, uh, the whole thing a bit. Because we can uh, jump on top of the roof and just invade from the roof. <laughs> okay. Well, so much for running. Didn't really help any uh, anything. Good. We're now with uh, set on a timer, and we gotta hack the station, which is fine. You, by the way, can hack it by standing here, and all you need to do is like getting up there. Good. Let's overdrive so that we're not losing any time. Are you kidding me? Okay, we can't see him. Combat effectiveness goes down without ammo. Okay, fair enough. Good. So, let's do a little bit of a cheeky move. Moving up. Focus uh, back to two. Nice little extra hit. And that gives over the kill to Storm. Plus fills up the focus. We know there is a pack back here. Going to deal with it in a second. We're definitely going to invade uh, this time by using... Uh, mm, the ceiling here. I'm on my way. Moving a bit closer. You can see I'm not yet using all of uh, the actions. It's really blue moves only for now. Moving. And let's jump on top of the roof. Overwatching, 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 parrying and overwatching. If they move up here, which I think they could, we would uh, get a lot of free shots. That's fine as well. Oh boy, we had high ground, uh, so all of those would almost be a hundred percent shots. Okay, cool. See, what I don't like is when enemies start doing weird stuff. And I'm just not going to accept it. In this case, boom, let's just take the entirety of uh, this space away. Oh boy, that was hilarious. We're going to feed more kills to Storm.
another Alarium Core, which is nice. Three more turns. Physical exertion outweighed. Spear is moving over here. Unlike the rest of you, this unit doesn't get winded. Just a moment. Moving as ordered. All right, moving up. Taking a good, uh, good old shot. Overwatch here. Let's just move back. Not because I am afraid. Uh, the Blade Storm almost would kill it. But because we need to actually get to the mission target. All right, triggered yet another pack. And there, have you seen it? The Archon uh, King was uh, right over there. And there's the Blade Storm bonus kill. Very nice. Good. Since he has sort of given away where uh, where he's at get one more turn afterwards i just want to make sure we're doing things the right way um this here will not trigger anything but i want to showcase just how imbalanced uh, these Heavy weapons are. So this here will even hit the Archon King. There we go. That's a good one. Nice. <laughs> nice. Very nice. Yep, we can see he's kind of standing back there with the Archons. Doesn't really know what's happening. And I think we got a heavy yeah, superior stop, so that's 100% kill. Taking the guy in full cover first. Target eliminated. Let's jump up here. You know, just for shits and giggles, because I I want to trigger kind of a reaction to, uh, to this video. We're just going to bombard that whole place again. Multiple units eliminated. <laughs> Everybody is just taking so much damage. And with the Hellfire Projector... Well, Almost hitting all of uh, those guys as well. Not quite. Almost. Um, moving up. Ooh, okay. Well, I can tell you what we're going to do with the Archon King. We're just going to charge in like a madman, because this here is going to trigger Bladestorm afterwards. 
There we go, nice little critical hit. And I told you. <laughs> this is just, it is unfair on so many levels at the same time. Good, time for some overdrive. All right, one down. At the very least, we know Valen is still out there somewhere. Have we picked up some new gear in the process? The bad Hulk is here. I'm almost out of ammo. Archon almost uh, dead, and for the sake of just displaying, what a nice little flamethrower looks like. That guy just ate some more damage. Overdriving, yes, please. I think we got an auto loader. Yeah, we did. We are parrying. <laughs> and he's just running away. This fire is out of control. This entire like the skies are quiet oh because uh, it just burned down nothing is left all right yeah i can see that moving up moving up moving up Moving up and moving up. Reloading, now. Reloading. That's an overwatch here. That's an overwatch. That's an overwatch. And that's an overwatch. And just for shits and giggles, we're moving back. And overwatching, of course. There's the last pack over here. But I am not really afraid. Very nice. That's Hunter triggering right there. And that's Hunter triggering yet again. And that's already a dead. A dead enemy. All right, cool. Yeah. Good. We got one more enemy who's standing right there. And one of the things that you can do is, if you know where the enemy is, just bombard them and remove its cover. But apparently we don't have a great uh, way of throwing that ball. I was about to showcase how we can remove the remaining cover. Apparently that doesn't work. So that's really a nasty position where he has uh, positioned himself. Can't really get to him. Advancing. 
course you want to spot him out so that we do have him in line of sight Let's not cluster up because that's exactly what he would be looking for. Instead, we're going in. Overdriving. getting rid of this guy although he would not have really posed any risk to us the reason why i wanted to be able to see this on this guy is because now we can nicely corner him perrier and we should be able to at least see him somehow All right. I hope you know where I'm going. We're not able to reach him right away, but he will melee attack the Templar. The Templar can uh, parry, so there's really not much um, threat here. The melee attack will trigger another blade storm. There's the parry, and he also takes away his own cover, which is which was pretty idiotic. Let's use our spark. I'm compelled to agree. Set him up for a nice uh, kill. And that's one hit. Jumping down, that's two hits, and we're going to finish with our Templar because we want Storm to level up. You will pay the price. So yeah, that was pretty much a clown fiesta. Not much that the enemy could do. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. We were walking all over them, and it was not even close. Good, we landed and we got the Icarus suit, which is fantastic. Couldn't have asked for a better outcome. Unfortunately, we did not get our uh, promotion here. That's that's a bit of an icky situation, but yeah, everything else went just very, very well. One of Dr. Valen's test subjects. I can begin an autopsy on the specimen as soon as you give the order, Commander. Yeah, we are continuing the Avatar Autopsy, then we're going to go and get the Icarus suit. That's a decent upgrade. Got some more assorted loot over there. We're swimming in resources. Alloys, Intel, um, everything. Just can't use it. It won't be easy. And finally, we got ourselves the last research that we needed. Let's change the research here to the Alcorn King uh, um, Odyssey. Got a few rookies that are still requiring negative trait removal. We never really fully uh, removed all of the traits. Yeah, and with regards to proving grounds, we got four cores, so that's plenty. Meaning we can get the serpent suit done. Very nice. And that's really it for now. Experimental powered weapons are still a thing. We can get the Icarus suit soon. Hello, 
Commander. And in terms of building items, we can build and upgrade the Serpent Suit. Good. Well, that's uh, the final mission. I mentioned we wanted to get the Warlock done first. So you can see we're definitely at the end of... We're at the end of uh, the pathway. Good. We got our... Uh, mm, stronghold. Superior weapon upgrade doesn't matter. Breakthrough research for sniper rifles doesn't matter. They found a way into the chosen stronghold. We shouldn't pass up this opportunity to take the fight directly. Yeah, all of that really does matter. We don't need to do any missions. The only thing that we need to do now is to kill the warlock. And once that is done, we're going on to the last mission. So there's yet another chance for Storm to level up. It would be great having her as a colonel. If not, we're going in um, into the last mission with uh, Templar, Triple Spark, plus Psyop and Psyop. Roby, unfortunately, could, uh, is stuck in that training loop, so can't really do much about it. Um, he would be at this point just just as well a major a major as, uh, as Renvin is, so both of them would almost be done with their uh, complete psionic training, and that looks like a pretty damn good team, guys. Uh, um, that means we're definitely going to finish the run soon. One more uh, fight against the warlock, and then it's time for the last mission. If uh, you have already an idea for next challenge, uh, now is a bit of a good time to already uh, vet those and uh, look down in the comments section. Maybe the others are enjoying your idea. So you can chat a bit, uh, take uh, or keep into consideration that on the last mission I'll ask for new run ideas as always. Until then, we see each other in uh, two days with the Warlock. Take care and goodbye.